You are about to take an inward journey that will be the most valuable experience of your life. The observation exercise, as it is called, is really a daily commitment to bring forth what you know is right in your heart. Put aside all expectations. Don't do it to feel better. Do it because you want to be a clear, thinking, self-motivated individual. Expecting an outcome involves will, the usual struggle that has up to now caused frustration and complicated your life. So for the time being, put aside your fears and anxieties over your symptoms and troubles. Give all your attention to these very simple basic instructions. Repeat the meditation exercise on your own three times a day, especially first thing in the morning and last thing at night. It is unwise to attempt to analyze why this procedure works so well. Understanding is a wordless gift of knowing you always had, but didn't live. The negative faith of worry and doubt is the ego's compensation for not trusting that knowing. Emotional decisions always backfired, complicated your life and led to confusion, depression and despair. Whenever doubt approaches, observe quietly and watch it go away. Faith does not come the way you thought. While it is not possible to make yourself believe and have faith, you can do the equivalent by calmly resisting the tendency to doubt. Do not wait until you feel like meditating. Do it religiously. The purpose is to lead your feelings and keep them from washing over your common sense and preventing you from acting faithfully and wisely. If there is only one thing you must do or will to do for yourself, let it be to sit quietly and allow intuitive knowing to impress upon your senses from within. Once you are past a mysterious reluctance to meditate, you'll be very glad you did. This exercise should not be learned by rote or become mechanical. Do it each time as if it were the very first time you ever did it, so that it remains a commitment to do what you know is right in your heart. A slightly distant sensation is really your protection. You will understand this one day. You have been imprisoned in an emotionally based daydream state of thought most of your life. You haven't realized it. This exercise will help you rise above the virtual reality of your thinking, causing some interesting experiences. But don't worry. Hold your ground. No harm will come. Wonder, watch, observe, question. You'll be safe. Never add anything to what you've been shown. The meditation sets in motion a process of subjecting the subconscious to the overarching soul of enlightened reason, renewing your mind and being from within. The meditation resolves one basic root cause underlying most of your problems, one of resentment. Catch resentment before it washes over you. Resentment must be recognized for what it is, and then neutralized every single moment of your life in thought, word, and deed. Failing that, the past will continue to be reinforced in the present to become that hopeless, depressing future. Be done with useless affirmations such as, I will be brave, I will lose weight and get well. Resist resentfully and willfully struggling with any problems that might rise to the surface. The meditation exercise contains all the ingredients for effortless self-control. The value accumulates only when practiced daily. To break any habit, stop trying. Just sit quietly and do the exercise, and mysteriously problems will resolve themselves, often with the very last one to appear. Guilt, fear, and depression will fade away. All this may be quite puzzling, but remember what I said. Do not analyze. Resist the angry struggle against everything. Let go and let God do the work, in a manner of speaking. These words will be your guide. Learn to do the exercise without this instruction. The day you stop this meditation exercise will be the day you fall back, and it might be impossible to ever begin again. Only in the true objective state can the newly aware self inherit faith, whereby faith, patience, may do its perfect work. Patience is the evidence of faith, just as impatience 
is the evidence of doubt. Soon you will fully appreciate and marvel how far the principle of patient endurance and love can take you through life, restore your health and happiness. Patience builds the only thing of worth you take out of the world as you leave, character. This simple exercise will lead your consciousness up out from the emotional prison of your thinking, awaken you progressively to higher realms of truth that will set you free.